Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Insane Med. This is Suprita. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some amazing tips for me 2020. And I promise you guys and I challenge you if you follow this for the next one and a half month, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be very good for you and you're going to come out with great results in need. And I'll be waiting to welcome you all into the medical family. So without further ado, let's begin. Tip number one, solve question papers from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. every day without fail, okay? Now, there are two reasons I'm telling you guys to, uh, you know, write the question paper like an actual exam every day between 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. because as most of you might have already guessed, your NEET exam is going to be from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So, I don't want you guys to eat and sleep during this time when you're at home okay so the reason i'm telling you guys is that because i want your body to get habituated and accustomized to the fact that you have to sit from 2 pm to 5 pm and write an exam for three hours and the other reason is that if you keep practicing this for you know one and a half months until 26th july what's going to happen is that the amount of pressure you're going to have on the need day is going to get decreased because every day if you're writing an exam seriously then your body is going to get accustomed to it so on the actual need day also when you're writing an exam your body is just going to think oh this is just another exam that i have been writing for the past one and a half month this is no big deal okay so i want you guys to train your body to think that need exam is not a big deal and take it calmly just like any other exam okay Tip number two is solve your question papers with an OMR sheet. Now this is very important. Even if you're solving a question paper from two to five, solve it with an OMR sheet because now at home when you're solving, you might just be ticking. But in the actual exam, you'll have to circle the circles in the OMR sheet and you don't know how much time you're going to waste in circling those circles. So if you want to practice proper time management, then solve your question paper with an OMR sheet okay number three I want you guys to decide a proper routine for you to solve the question paper now what I mean by this is that all of you know there are three parts in your need question paper right physics chemistry and biology I want you guys to decide what is the order in which you will be approaching these three parts now the preferred order for me is to start from biology first then go to chemistry and then physics okay now you can interchange the last two you can interchange between physics and chemistry whichever is suitable you can attempt that first but i would definitely suggest that you start solving the paper from biology because you will be saving a lot of time especially in biology whenever you look at the questions immediately you can circle the answers but that's not going to be the case in physics and chemistry they will definitely need some time because you you'll either have to do some calculation or some thinking before you answer but in biology you can answer it as soon as you see the questions so i want you guys to train your body to follow a particular order of solving the question paper and this is going to help you in time management Tip number four, a lot of time for each subject. Now I did this on the exam day as well as while I was practicing for the exam while writing your question papers. What I did was I allotted a specific amount of time for each subject. For biology, I had taken 50 minutes. For chemistry, I had taken 50 minutes. And for physics, I had taken one hour, 10 minutes, okay? Because I usually used to take a lot more time in solving uh, physics problems. So this is how I had allotted. And I had 10 minutes buffer time for seeing if everything was all right, if I had, you know, um, attempted all the questions and if I had written my roll number well and stuff like that. And I've practiced this for a long time before the NEET exam. The reason I'm telling you guys to allot a time is that sometimes you tend to get stuck in a particular question or in a particular subject and you forget about the other subjects. All three subjects are important, very important to try and attempt most of the questions, right? Even if there is a fear of 
negative marking there should not come a condition where you couldn't even attempt the questions that you knew because of lack of time right tip number 5 analyze the question paper that you solved now after 5 o'clock take a break for like half an hour or something and then from 5:30 at least for 1 hour until 6:30 analyze the question paper you wrote okay you sit down look at the answers see how many you got right see how many you got wrong what are your weak points what are your strong points now here you have to be strict okay you can't cheat you can't say oh i knew this answer i was just confused between this that's why i wrote this no no it's either right or it's wrong okay so be very strict with yourself and see what your score is see what you didn't know and what you did wrong by mistake okay so there are two types of mistakes that can happen or two types of places where you don't get the answer right one reason was you didn't know and the other reason was you were confused between two answers okay try and differentiate these two categories whatever you didn't know make sure you look at the answer keep it in your head look at it for like 2 3 times in the next 2 uh, 3 days also so that you will remember it for a longer time and for the things you were confused between make sure you clear out whatever doubts you had and make sure you don't make that mistake again tip number 6 don't try to cram too many new things into your head right now i'm not telling you guys not to learn anything new at all just keep whatever new things you're learning at a minimum okay because if you try and cram too many new things into your head right now there are chances that you might forget stuff that you already know okay so even if you want to learn some new chapter or some new thing make sure you're doing it only for one hour or so or something like that because you don't want to forget stuff that you already know in your enthusiasm of wanting to learn new things okay Tip number seven: Sleep well and eat well. Okay. Now I have seen a lot of people giving a lot of timetables where they tell you to wake up at five in the morning and read till twelve in the night and stuff like this. Please don't do things like that because you need sleep. Your body, your mind, your brain needs rest. And sleep is a very important phase where your brain is going to consolidate all the memory, consolidate all the things you studied in. a day so make sure you're getting at least a minimum of 7 hours of sleep don't lose out on your sleep and try to eat well too and take care of your health during this time don't uh, you know focus too much or strain yourself too much that you you know end up uh, um, hurting yourself or falling ill or something like that make sure you eat well and sleep well and take care of your health also tip number 7 now this is going to be a very interesting tip and that is solve previous year jee question papers for chemistry now this is a tip that i got from dr dushant kumar uh, of helios uh, educore and this was one of the best tips that i ever got because trust me there were so many questions that had come directly out of previous year je question papers especially in chemistry i'm not even joking even when i wrote the neat exam a minimum of like six questions that i had seen in previous year je papers came as it is in the neat papers now coming to the bonus tip or rather bonus recommendations here are some of the channels that i used to follow uh, while preparing for my neat or revising for my neat and i think that's all i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys start becoming serious and start solving question papers from tomorrow and um, tell me guys uh, how you do after you need exam wish you all the best i hope that uh, i can meet you guys one day as a part of our medical family eagerly waiting for you guys bye bye don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye